Hi everybody, this is Fast Home Brew. Today I'm doing a scientific experiment to see whether you can polish a turd. Because I was at the supermarket the other day, going along, past the homebrew stuff, and what is this? A generic brand home brew draft. Alright, let's have a look and see what we can do with it. The instructions say that you have to ferment it between 25 and 35 degrees. They've got to be kidding. It also says use a bag of sugar like that. Uh, I'm at least going to use malt instead. And what I'm going to do is split it in half and in one half put in these grains and hops to see if we can, well, see how terrible it is. Oh, and different yeast. There's different yeast going in in one half, not the yeast that comes with it. So yeah, we'll see if it uh, improves it at all. So I'm getting ready to steep my grains here. Got the water up to 70 degrees. Grains go in the little bag. There they go. And the uh, this little guy protects it if it needs to go back on the element and they'll sit there for half an hour so while it does that my fermenters go oh hello would you like to share some sanitizer with me oh yes i'd really like to share some sanitizer okay well i'll put the sanitizer in this one get it all nice and clean or oh, uh, sanitizer okay and oh i don't feel so good Blah. yes uh get this one nice and sanitized as well and oh, i don't feel good Blah. back into that thing where i sanitize the taps there they all go uh, I struggled to find them afterwards, cause, but anyway, um, yeah, this guy, let's get the lid off, off you come, come on lid, this is really hard, uh, ah, stupid lid, die, die, uh, I know, screwdriver, yes, take that you stupid lid, I'll get you off, I'll get you good, right, yeast, stuck, eh, come on yeast, eh, gotcha, okay, right, that was an ordeal, get it into the hot water, uh, what that does is soften up the goo on the inside and makes it easier to pour later. So um, that's just a little uh, tip. This is the malt going in. I'm going to put everything into one fermenter to begin with and then split it between the two. So I'm using the swelly method to dissolve the malt. And today, look at that. It worked really well. Maybe it was a different kind of malt I was using. It was from the homebrew store instead of from the supermarket. But um, yeah, who knows? That just went really well. Okay, time to get the lid off of this guy. And we go with the can opener and into the fermenter. And it's about now I realize that I probably should have taken the label off because it's kind of touching it on the way down. So, oh, well, better late than really late. Take the label off. Fill it back up with hot water and put the lid back on. And um, a few minutes later, you'll see that the hot water has sort of got rid of all the last little bits and it's nice and clean. So, stir it around and um, top it up a bit and yeah so that's my sort of base stuff okay this is boiling believe it or not I'm just gonna put a touch of Amarillo in for um, some flavor so I think that's five grams going in for about 15 minutes let that do its thing and yeah this beer's got Amarillo in it it's very nice okay and up it comes and cool it down using the sink the lid protects drips from going into the, um, the pot there so it doesn't get contaminated and that's just going to cool down so that I can pour it. Okay, uh, I filled this up, topped it up to 14 litres, I think. So um, get it down to seven, and that means it should be half and half. Down it goes. Done. Good. And yeah, that's about even. Seven litres in each. So now time to put the improvements into one of them. There they go. And um, give them both a bit of a stir because that's what you do. Um, now I'm topping them up to the 11 litre mark. I'm using a, a bottle uh, just because it's easier to be a bit more accurate than holding it under the tap because I don't have a hose or anything, so I'm just using a bottle there, but yeah. All right, yeast goes in. And hang on, which one goes in? Yeah, I've already forgotten which one had the good stuff in it. Good thing I video everything. Ah, right, that one goes in there and that one in there, gotcha. So this is the kit yeast. And here's the USO5 yeast going into the um, uh, other guy. All right, lid's on. Oh, good. Uh, one of them is going to get dry hops. That's the that one. And uh, apart from that, we're all done. So science! It's science. We're using a control and and one with an experiment. And it's going to be nice and taste like amarillo, like this one, which is delicious. So thanks for watching. Bye.